Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 16 Hustle League Group A. Round of 16. Did I say that? I feel like I'm saying 16 a lot with <laughs> this season of BSL. We got Doodle starting in the upper left-hand corner as the green Protoss upper end corner. In the midnight blue, we have Stunter. Didn't look at the map ahead of time. Looks like it is going to be on Circuit Breaker. This is the best of three. So again, reminder of the format. The initial matches are best of one. The winner's match is best of one. Then the losers and final match are best of three. So that, uh, I think this is the best way to have not an obscene amount of games, but also have it where the elimination matches aren't just like cheese fests you and you get wiped out. I do feel like what the format ends up doing is that it ends up rewarding more aggressive, more creative players. I think OSL also has this format. I haven't checked to see the uh, anything. I do want to say what's up to Mad Dugan in the background, who has hopped in and messed with Twitch chat, which I appreciate. I haven't seen him in an eon. Good to see you, buddy. Looks like we're seeing a gateway opener rather than a 12 Nexus on the four-player map to start. I do like watching Chet in the background. <laughs> He'll revert it. I trust him to make it happen. Old friend of the channel. Good gaming buddy. I've actually been... Uh, some people have been... Um, asking... I, I saw on Reddit a post where like, hey, is there a place to do free-for-alls? And I'm wondering if I could just... adjust things down the line where... closing out the match, I can just commentate free-for-alls. I feel like I'm stepping into Gret's territory if anybody has seen Gret's incredible play. Refinery being tacked on for Stunter. With all of that spare time I've got to... Anyway, it looks like Stunter is going to get first scout moving to the upper left hand corner. Cybernetic score warping in. I think that pylon is in position where it does help. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that might benefit probe mining slightly. It's the minutia of each race that uh, I'm not familiar with. The thing is, I need enough people to to make that happen in a series of maps and have fun times. And I feel like I want rewards for that sort of thing as well. And I don't have an idea uh, for rewards and whatnot. Anyway, factory planted down for Stunter, getting first scout. Looks like we are going to see an initial Dragoon Cybernetic score upgrading range. In, SC in full view of the SCV. We are seeing Factory before an attempted Command Center grab. And I also want to comment, there's absolutely no scout from Doodle thus far. Initial Dragoon out having some trouble getting around his own gateway to go after this initial SCV. I think... Doodle wants to wait until that SCV is cleared out of his base before he makes additional moves. It is possible he just is going to aim for one gate into expand play. He does it while he's going to drop it. Is that SCV actually just going to migrate towards the natural expansion to discover it? Is the next question. Two shots away. So it, and he's got a shot. If he just wanders down to the natural expansion right here. Yeah, he's going to, well, maybe. Oh, Dragoon spawning. Gets the snipe. And I don't, uh, yeah, so that Nexus... Remains hidden. Looks like Stunter behind this has gone ahead and gone immediately into a command center. Initial Vulture making its way out. Probe scouting bottom left. Dragoons splitting up. Unfortunately, this is going to allow that Vulture to... One thing with Circuit Breaker is it's such a wide area mid-map. Bunker only halfway produced, but the Dragoon doesn't have range yet, so this isn't a, a winning fight. However, doing some damage to that initial Marine, the Dragoon's going to have to back up and wait until either range is finished. That's a little bit unfortunate as everything cycled. Also, the Vulture looks like it is just going to hold position mid-map. It might have been able, through all those shenanigans, to <laughs> cycle back through. Range is now finished. The Dragoon's just going to wander up and make sure that a quick additional base nor proxy is located to the north. Also, I think he's trying to hunt down that Vulture location. Two Dragoons holding the front, wary. Pro protection. Second gateway. I am assuming we're going to see an OBS. 
and maybe even a third Nexus before we see the third gateway here, knowing Doodle's style of play. Mines being researched. We do have two vultures out in the map. A single Dragoon out on the corner that was able to get some damage is potentially a victim now with the mines researched. Stunter flopping two and retreating. One shot there, but not able to stop initial damage. And second hit. Ooh, nice bit of micro there. That was a really, really close bit of micro there to get the second mine. But Stunter now has full control of the map. Doesn't need to produce as many siege tanks. He's going for an armory here. I'm wondering if he's going to go for... It's possible to go for that plus two weapons, plus one armor, but I think he's instead maybe staging up to go for plus three weapons, plus two, and maybe go for a faster third command center. Siege check and turrets to respect DT and shuttle play. Initial observers making their way across the map. No third gateway. Vultures and mines planting across that nine o'clock, but we already see, yep, yeah, that probe wandering up to grab a third nexus with just a Dragoon to protect. So it's just an Observer and Dragoon in position to defend. Ring of turrets from Stunter, but he has kept the factory count low in response to this. Plus one weapons upgrading. The Vulture's returning now that their mine complement has been expended. I believe this Observer, yeah, is going to be able to sneak through before that turret ring is completed, so going to be able to get a look and see that light factory count, which might even provoke an additional expansion out of Doodle. Yeah, seeing just one factory. A lot of Dragoons, actually, have been produced, so supply lead for Doodle. He's grabbed that Nexus. No additional gateways as of yet. No additional tech as of yet as well. Nexus is going to warp in. It looks like, yeah, another probe wandering out. Wants to go ahead and maybe grab that 9 o'clock base. But the mine needs to be cleared before that can happen. And here's the thing. Even with Stunter spotting that, there's... <laughs> that was the worst way to have that happen. Another probe's going to need to... <laughs> wander out, unless this probe is going to go ahead and grab a base bottom right. But mine has been cleared there. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Two additional factories being tacked on, a second, or sorry, an academy being built, and a starport as well. Vulture's wandering up, checking that 12 o'clock base. A single Dragoon is not going to be able to protect the probes as they're transferring across, so the Vulture's going to get some bonus kills. The Dragoon's moving up to provide some additional defense. And this is going to be, if he grabs this 3 o'clock, that is about the ballsiest expansion that I think I'm ever going to see. I think he's mostly just checking to see whether this is up or not. He's going to go ahead and grab that 9 o'clock with that probe in position. But for a minute, I thought, okay, are you actually dropping the next... Okay, no. Grabbing the next is the 9 o'clock. That would have been a very in-the-dark ballsy, like, wow, grab. Fourth gateway coming online. Doodle actually pretty in pretty good supply position given the status of everything. Science facility being constructed to allow plus two weapons and second armory being tacked on for Stunter. I assume the way this is all looking at, he's maybe going to go for that plus two weapons, plus one armor push rather than not a flurry of comps that's being dropped, but Doodle, upon having this fourth base, if he pushes this gateway flood. He is going to have the economic lead. Looks like he's also grabbing a reaver. Hiding a bit of tech. Oh, so he's hit the robotic facility in that corner. Number of vultures starting to stream out. Dragoons maybe going to be out of position to help defend this. Citadel of a Dune actually being dropped near the third. Only two dra dragoons defending that nine o'clock. A sweep of vultures moving in could uh, provide some interruption. And right now, it looks like Doodle is wandering up, so there's the command center to go ahead and grab that third. So it looks like it is going to be more plus three weapons, plus two armor, as initially suspected. But you can see the Dragoons and the Reaver already waiting to create some havoc and make that a more difficult base grab. Photon cannons warping in, no probes being transferred to that location as of yet. 
Doodle playing it very light, though, on the gateway count at this stage of the match. Because of the lower factory count towards the early stages, he does have a surplus of units to work with, however. Shuttle speed kicking in the Observer, seeing that fourth factory and fifth factory being constructed. Command center floating out, and with concentrated fire, these Dragoons could walk up and wipe that command center out. I don't know that Doodle's going to spot it in time. He just has the Dragoons on the high ground right this second, contending with Vultures attacking his transfer lines, splitting them two directions. The Dragoons engage there. I like Stunter covering the movement of that expansion and dropping it, creating that distraction momentarily. Siege Tank's moving out. Tank's now sieging up, so yeah, Doodle with a little bit of a better... Oh, these Zealots are not speed upgraded, so I don't know if they're going to get a lot accomplished here. With a little bit of a different engagement, Doodle might have been able to crush this, but with all of the timing, the way it worked, and Stunter sending in that distractionary attack to secure that, doing a great job. Doodle's still in a good supply position, needs to get those probes up and active. Has tacked on a lot of gateways. There's the Templar Archives. I am concerned that he's not going to have, especially seeing the lack of Templar Archives and shuttles, that he's not going to have that additional style of tech to contend. Weaver's dropping the natural expansion, able to get some shots off, taking a little bit of turret fire. I didn't see any interruption in the SCV count. Need to keep an eye on that. Looks like they're going to move Caddy Corner. There is a single Vulture patrolling bottom left, so it is possible that the Reavers could move down there and take care of that to maybe open that up down the line. Another Forge being dropped. Yeah, I think Doodle wants to play Gateway Man and go for superior upgrades and try to hold that. He does have a little bit of a... He, he has a strong economic lead, but that means he's going to have to macro very, very carefully. And additionally, he's going to have to make sure his engagements are really solid. Trying to clear the mines. Stunter with a solid position, a nice turret ring right there. The Reavers gonna get dropped off to the north. Might be able to clear some turrets. The Siege Tank's not quite in range. The Dragoon's trying to create some cover for them. One turret down. Observer being pushed out. And so the Reavers actually have opened up a little bit of a opportunity to maybe crawl forward and get a single shot. Just kind of harassing that corner while continuing to macro. 20 supply lead. Things just about dead even. The Dragoon's clearing out the mines in the opposite corner. I like the movement from Doodle, evacuating that corner once the siege tanks had moved forward. A science vessel now in place to go ahead and do the damage, or uh, have the spotting to do the damage otherwise. Good map clearage by Doodle. Also, it took care of that vulture bottom left, so it looks like he's going to stage up to go ahead and grab those expansions. Surge in supply behind all the gateways. Plus one weapons just about online. Still no movement towards any additional tier of tech, so he's got the lone shuttle. Oh, never mind. He, he's tacked on a couple additional shuttles, which will help. Level 2 weapons, level 1 armor now have been deployed by Stunter. Looking at a... Uh, my brain's farting because of the, the positioning uh, of these, but we're looking at a 7 factory count. Which I don't know that that's going to be sufficient to keep up with the uh, amount of gateways that we've got behind this. Again, positioning is going to be crucial. Shuttles being spotted by these vultures swing across the Reavers. Ooh, one shuttle full of zealots getting wiped out. The Reavers do remain alive. Supply gaps starting to close. The Dragoons moving forward to provide some additional support. But right now, Stunter looking like he wants to go ahead and stage up to maybe make some movements. The Vulture's flooding across. It looks like he's not going to wait for plus three weapons or 200 supply. He's actually building a fourth command center, maybe to float up that 12 o'clock position, so kind of expanding into his opponent. The Vulture is planting some mines. The Zealots are going to be softened up a bit. Plenty of troops to engage them at the bottom left. Stunter regathering and wanting to make a dive. Comsatting seeing nothing there and losing a few vultures as they're streaming across. Observer is also getting a good look at the minefield in between. A few zealots staged to the 12 o'clock to delay that additional base. At the moment, Doodle has the economic lead, but supplies are even and the upgrades are in Stunter's favor. 
And I, again, don't see any High Templar. It's just the two Reavers in the shuttle. So I'm not sure that, yeah, the Zealot's very quickly taken out. So essentially, Stunter is going to take that 12 o'clock base and use this Northern Corridor to both expand and aggressively assault his opponent simultaneously. Zealot's looking to drop, but the tanks are not sieged here in the rear. The Reaver's popping down, taking out a couple tanks that were sieged. Dragoon's piling up a nice defense matrix on that forward siege tank. And not the greatest engagement point for Doodle, but through sheer numbers, pushing down. And it looks like Stunter, a lot of his army has been preoccupied to the rear. So turning into a bit of a, det a detente. The shuttle's looking for siege tanks to continue to drop on. The Reaver is being, oh, both Reavers getting wiped out in that last volley. And that shuttle is going to be critical, actually, to get some siege tank drops. There are some Goliaths to provide some support. And Stunter, at even supplies, might have an opportunity to press through. But in the meantime, Doodle has swung around with his reinforcements to go ahead and assault the natural expansion. Granted, you need less troops to defend this because of that double bridge. So rather than approaching across that double bridge... Well, I'm not sure whether he's gathering. He's holding those troops, and those troops are completely not out of position to stop Stunter from moving straight up into that third. Now Sidestorm has entered the game. Huge Sidestorms over the edge, obliterating Stunter's attack force. That was a very sudden drop of 20 supply. Woo! Massive supply drop. Looks like we do have the refugee opportunity for Doodle bottom left as he's... Plopped down a lot of gateways down there, is mining. Hasn't yet saturated that natural expansion, but is starting to mine at the main. Stunter continuing to try to threaten bottom left, picking off some High Templar, but I believe those High Templar have already done their due diligence. If Doodle evicts this grouping, okay, more High Templar being dropped, more Psy Storm over the ridge. It looks like those are mostly blind Psy Storms, however. If Doodle is able to breach this 12 o'clock, Stunter is going to be in a lot of trouble. The Dragoon's holding the mid-ground for Doodle and interrupting troops as they're transferring, but that is a lot of siege tanks. They now have plus three weapons, plus two armor, only plus one weapons on those Dragoons. And keep in mind, there's no Arbiter support. So the side storms are gonna be absolutely critical here for Doodle. And again, moving the troops out to defend that third. He does have both of his forges here as well, keep in mind. And that's a lot of time lost in those forges, but I'm wondering if Doodle just wants to go for a counterattack right at the natural expansion. That's so evacuating his third. Reinforcements grouping up. He can sack that three o'clock, no problem, but I'm worrying about his ability to defend additional holdings after this. Now, Doodle re-engaging. Rather than going across those bridges, dropping all sorts of size storm. Obliterating those siege tanks and interrupting Stunter's three o'clock base. So a base for a base and getting some good SCV damage on retreat. He might be able to just swing back around and attack that 12 o'clock base as well. Looks like he's going to retreat to the high ground to have more favorable trades as those reinforcements are making their way back from assaulting. And is he just going to full on retreat? Looks like he's just going to pull back. That might be the better part of Valor here. High Templar are going to drop a Psy Storm. Nope, just kidding. Gonna die before he's able to additionally engage. Six o'clock base being grabbed. Bottom right-hand corner being grabbed by Doodle. Three o'clock base being relanded. Distance mining happening for Stunter now. So now it's gonna be a war. Do is Doodle able to do this continual harassment through this stage of the match and continually keep these holdings low and keep that army count low on Stunter's side of the map? Zealot bombs to the rear, interrupting a lot of siege tanks, but the Dragoon's somewhat spread, and yeah, not cohesive, gonna have to retreat again to the high ground. So a handful of siege tanks wiped out to the north. Still a large siege tank line denying that third uh, on the opposite corner. However, while Stunter's slowly making his way... Ooh, that was a lot of... Bit of a misstep there from Doodle, losing a lot of troops. That could be disastrous, actually. Making his way back. He needs to make sure he doesn't get sealed outside this natural. Is he just going to blind Psystorm? I'm wondering if he's going to bli blind Psystorm here over that edge. Clear a couple of those mines and those vultures. Losing some High Templar as they're moving into Siege Tank range. Stunter once again regathering. 
Doodle might have an opportunity to win this just by slowing Stunter down, bleeding him out, and being everywhere else on the map. However, and he's doing a great job of it this far. Great Zealot Bombs right on the front. More Side Storm blanketing everything. Still, the troop count dangerously close to even, which usually puts Terran in the lead. Stunter continuing to reinforce, now building another command center to go ahead and float out to that three o'clock. If Doodle saturates, if he can get the, so his main, oh wow, dropping forges in the main here. Trying to heads up engage over this edge. He's steadily adding the upgrades. Keep in mind those upgrades are gonna be greatly delayed because of the two forges being dropped at that third. This is kind of a measly attack into what's typically a prime position for Terran to defend. Probes making the way bottom right to go ahead and saturate there. So Doodle just holding it looks like at the 12 o'clock location. He hasn't made any movements to deny the three o'clock base grab, which should be floating out momentarily. The main is mined out for Stunter though. He's doing okay at the 12 o'clock, his, his natural also mined out. So he's got two bases, it's soon to be up to three, and that's gonna be three versus one, two, not yet saturated though. Three, four, five, a lot of base Protoss. And at the 70 count, which is a solid count. So theoretically, if Doodle keeps it up, he should be able to starve him out. Looks like the bottom right hand base has been discovered. Doodle starting to siphon troops to the bottom right to reinforce. There are a lot of mines in the way and observers lagging a little bit. High Templar are going to be able to get across. The Zealots staging forward. There's some cannons that are going to delay the rest of the troops from making. This should be an efficient attack force for Doodle to actually take care of this. A lot of Zealots melting to those mines off the front, but High Templar now engaging with those Dragoon support. So Stunter losing that army, actually losing a degree of map control with it out there as well. So I'm not sure that he feels comfortable grabbing this three o'clock as this army is dangerously close to sweep up that direction. Vulgers migrating that way. We do have a lot of shuttles, so it looks like it's just going to be the shuttle. Ooh, a lot of High Templar moving in. She's going to make them mobile for all sorts of things. They can go ahead and do SCV bombs, uh, storm bombs at the 12 o'clock, potentially at that third as well. Or just do the standard storm dropping on the front. Stunter needs to establish that three o'clock base and get SCVs in position just to keep up with Doodle's economy. Although Doodle now a little bit mined out the nine o'clock, he's oversaturated on this lower mineral pile. Needs to transfer that pro those probes to, an, uh, to a new location, but is pretty well saturated across what else is left. High Templar finding that three o'clock SCV scattering, none of them losing their lives somehow. That was a great pull from Stunter. Incredible pull, but that shuttle just gonna camp there, wait for another opportunity while the energy recharges. So Stunter holding the upper right hand quadrant for the moment, behind on resource count. Not too bad as far as supply is concerned. Still hasn't completed that plus three armor. It looks like he's not intending to either. Good factory count behind this. Zealot bombs clearing out some siege tanks to the north and actually a high Templar making it through not able to drop a size storm. Looks like that shuttle went back in while that was happening. No, never mind. It just moved to the north across that turret line. This one, I think this one's going to come down to the wire. Six o'clock base is up, but not yet saturated. Doodle, again, I think he needs to transfer those probes out of that location. Has a lot of troops staging across the nine o'clock. Stunter looking to move as well. Where does he want to strike? The shuttles regrouping. It looks like they might go for a double assault at the three o'clock. A lot of troops moving in. Not yet sieged. Small mercies. High Templar land. And this time, the SCVs do not escape. Two shuttles drop, but a large amount of SCV SCVs obliterated, dropping Stunter in the late game to the sub-50 SCV count. I find this area very peculiar because you got Stunter mining at the 12 o'clock, just holding along that edge. Another storm drop. I shouldn't have taken my eyes away. 
More SCVs getting wiped out. Stunter trying to refill there. Vultures now streaming across after that last attack. What this does do is this leaves Doodle very short on shuttles and High Templar, I believe. He's just got this. Tanks not sieged all sorts of mines in the way. It looks like this is in splash range of those siege tanks. And the Psy Storm catching so many of these bunched up units for Stunter. However, Doodle needs to withdraw because even though he's got really strong upgrades, Mech just obliterates Protoss ground armies. Doodle behind in supply. Needs to re-macro. He has all sorts of gateways to do it with. Looks like he is starting to make a transition to Stargate's late game. And wow, he's making a tra transition to Stargate's late game. That is six Stargates being plopped down bottom left. The High Templar looking for an angle. More Psy Storm, not catching a lot along that rim, but wow, blanketing. As I say that, the Siege Shanks walking through a lot of Psy Storm. Doodle still behind in supply. After this huge investment bottom left, is this going to be a scout turnaround? Are we just going to see mass scouts? That's almost what I'm expecting here. Very expensive late game units to work with, but regardless, Stunter cutting the map in half. Cutting the proverbial Gordian Knot, eating Sidestorm as he travels. Zelt sweeping back across. Looks like the High Templar are going to be wiped out, and right now, Doodle does not have a standing army. As Stunter doesn't have to worry about that 9 o'clock base, it is unoccupied, but bottom left, are you kidding me? Just building a command center right there, that's going to be stopped by Dark Templar, but sweeping to wipe out bottom left bases that are now vital for Doodle to hold. More Psy Storm blanketing this corner, but a group of siege tanks have breached the lines and are sieging the bottom left. Dark Templar is sweeping across. I don't know that there's they're going to get a lot more accomplished with all those mines between point A and point B. The Stargates have been built, but they remain silent. This was a huge investment from Doodle. Some Zealots look like they're able to march across. No detection, so the Dark Templar... Okay, now detection, but too late. The Dark Templar are going to be able to clean up everything bottom left as Stunter withdrawing troops from bottom left and moving instead to bottom right. More Dark Templar being produced on site. A lot of shuttles there to clear out the stranded siege tanks, and I think actually Doodle, with reinforcements, should be able to move back. Maybe salvage bottom right. More Dark Templar out on the front. Again, a command center being built on the forward corner. Dark Templar at least able to get a siege tank right there. Doodle repositioning. Never mind, carriers being constructed. Where was the uh, fleet beacon? Fleet beacon's in the main. Oversupply, honestly, of Stargates here for what's remaining. That was a huge investment and might cost Doodle the game. Doodle has researched on supply, clearing mid-map to cut off reinforcements to bottom right, but I don't think he's going to be able to, uh, to... I don't think bottom right is going to survive. Maybe trying to draw forces back with a threatening Dragoon force mid-map. Full, <coughs> excuse me, full upgrades for Doodle. However, in between point A, point B, 12 o'clock is looking less active. That third is looking somewhat thin as well. So it's that three o'clock base and the pending bottom right base that will be mining for Stunter. Doodle re-engaging. Tanks are not sieged mid-map. And as they're sieging, never mind, that was mostly empty shuttle. Dark Templar really doing a lot of damage. Completely wiping out this attack force. And Stunter now falling apart as nothing to defend the three o'clock. Is behind on supply. Does have siege tanks that are clearing out bottom right, but is going to end up losing this three o'clock base in turn. Doodle can turn around and split off some attack forces and wipe out additional bases. Plus, he's got carriers pending. So this is being lifted off. SCV scattering. It looks like they want to transfer bottom right. That actually might be a disaster, as depending on when these zealots arrive with these mines, that could be some dead SCVs to mine explosions. But otherwise, they're just trailing them to the new base to get wiped out. March of Death right here. These are very lucky explosions for Stunt here, bottom right. Huge surge in supply now for Doodle. Up 80, but keep in mind a lot of that 80 supply is in carriers that are still staging in bottom left. It looks like the... Stargate Collective has been spotted as Stunter is adding on a lot of Goliaths. 
but right now his supply is absolutely minuscule in comparison to Doodles. So as soon as these carriers are online and start joining the attack force, I do not believe Stunter is going to be able to stem the tide. Zealots pushing across. Sidestorm. I gotta say, Doodle Sidestorms have been great this game. It's gonna be a vacant third, but Stunter gonna GG right there. Game one goes to Doodle in very convincing fashion. Thank you for the Rage Uriah in the background behind this. For you out in YouTube land, if you enjoyed it, please give a like and subscribe. Share with a friend. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.